No, but what's that process like? In other words, a lot of people are never successful in life at being able to navigate through those difficult times mentally and accomplish their goals. What change, like, was there a person in your life? Did you go see someone, like a sports medicine psychologist or something like this? Um, I did do one sports uh, session with somebody, and it was funny because it was a part where you, like, walk into a room and you like see yourself and like who are you seeing and it's like you see that little girl you are growing up you don't see what you've become and so I had to start looking at myself at who I've become not what in my head what I used to be and so then just realizing that like I moved here I you know had a job within the first 24 hours I was here I've been training consistently for five years and I just like realized like who I am is actually really awesome and then uh, going home and I ended up finding my mom uh, we hadn't spoken years I she doesn't even know I'm in the UFC I don't even think she knows what the UFC is I don't think she even she's uh, she's homeless and she has a lot of problems she's schizophrenic she's bipolar she's done meth my whole life and she you know I held on to like so much anger from her like just for all the decisions she would made had made while I was growing up and I left home really early. I left home at 15. I was, you know, in and out of juvie. I lived out of a backpack. Like I was, it was rough, you know? And when I went home and I found her and just seeing her crawl out of that tent and like, it was, it was a big deal. And it was just like, I was just able to like <laughs> let go of it. You know, it's, and it breaks my heart. Like still like just thinking of her like that. And like, I haven't talked to her since I like went home and like figured all that out, but it was just like, it, I was able to like appreciate all of that instead of like hating the way I grew up. I was like, wow, like I survived that. And like, I looked at myself like a character in a movie. I had to take myself completely out of that. And I looked at my life as a movie and I looked at myself as a character and I was like, how would I feel about that character? And I was like, I would admire that character. I would think that character is amazing. And I was like, she lived all that and she made it to the UFC. You know, like I was an amateur fighter. I was on a three fight losing streak. All my friends had titles and were big deals. And I'm the only one that made it here. Like I'm the one that stuck with it. I'm the one after all those trials and all those errors, here I am, you know? And I just had to learn to appreciate myself. And like, when I did that, it was beautiful. The way I've been able to live my life day in and day out now, it's changed dramatically and I think you guys are seeing that in the cage. When was that that you went home? Uh, it was actually uh, right after Robert Falls died. Um, he is from Oregon where I'm from. We have a lot of mutual friends up there and so I wanted to go to the memorial up there and uh, it was actually the day of the memorial. I had gotten word in the area that my mom was in. Um, one of her high school friends growing up had seen her in that area and had gotten a hold of my family who had told me and then I spoke with him and so I went and found her in that area and um, it was just, you know, I ended up not going to the funeral and then I, you know, did that and it was almost like he still, like, all the things that Falls was trying to help me realize, like, I found even without, like, him there. Like, he brought me there and I still found those things even though he wasn't there. So it was kind of a really beautiful, like, conclusion in the whole thing. So it, you know, it was about, what, a year and a half ago now?